Hi guys, today I'm going to do a little tutorial for a natural makeup look, um, something quite simple, um, which is great for just chucking on if you can't really be bothered doing your makeup properly. Um, so yeah, I'll just get started. Um, obviously I'm not like a makeup artist or anything, but this is just sort of a little look that I do quite often, which is pretty easy. So um, I've started with my skin. It's already been cleansed, toned, moisturised, all that. So just do your normal routine and start with a clean base. And then the first thing I'm going to do is apply some Professional from Benefit. Just to the centre of the face. Um, so the nose, a little bit on the cheeks. And the chin and over any blemishes you have just to help smooth them over. Um sorry about my fringe, I'm trying to grow it out at the moment and it's just at that really annoying length right now. Anyway, uh, once you've got your primer on, you can go straight in with a highlighter. Um I'm using the NARS Orgasm Illuminator and I'm just gonna put this all over my face just to give a sort of healthy glow underneath your foundation. Um you can also apply it over the top, but I think just to get a nice natural glow, just pop it on underneath. And it gives a really nice effect. So once that's done and it's all blended in nicely, you can go straight to foundation. So for this look, I'd suggest something that's quite a light coverage. Um, in the summer I'd probably use like a tinted moisturiser or a BB cream but because it's winter and my skin's a bit rubbish at the moment I'm going to use a light coverage foundation. So my top choice is the Benefit Hello Flawless. Um, I've got the shade um, Believe in Me Ivory which I think is the palest one. So I like to just give it a shake and then apply it with my fingertips. Um, you can use a brush, but I think it gives a nicer look if you just do it with your fingers because it is such like a light coverage, sometimes it can look a bit sort of patchy if you use a brush. This one is a tiny, tiny bit too dark for me. It looks alright on camera, but it's just verging on being too dark. So just going to make sure I blend it into my neck. Next step is concealer and for this I'm going to use another Benefit product. Can you tell that I love them? Um, this is the Fake Up Concealer which is a brand new one that um, is being released at the end of March and I really love this. Um, it's so good for under eye dark circles. Um, just sort of apply it in a V shape. And then blend it in with your fingers. It's really moisturising this concealer which is great for under eyes. And it also doesn't um, sort of get stuck in like the little lines underneath my eyes. So it's great to stop um, creasing, it doesn't crease at all. And it's really brightening so I just love it for under eyes. Again, I just prefer to use my fingers to blend this in, but you can use a brush, but it's just my personal preference. So once you're happy with that, you can move on to covering up any blemishes. You can also use the Fake Up for that, but um, I prefer to use something a little more heavy duty. I'm going to use um, Estee Lauder's Double Wear Concealer. And this is the shade Light. Oh, I should have said also. The fake up is in the shade light and um, it comes in three shades I think so of course I am the palest one. Um, so with the Estee Lauder concealer I'm just going to apply this to any blemishes. It's got a nice big one here. Um, also a little bit around my nose just because it's usually quite red around there. And that'll do I think. And then again, just using my finger to blend it in, so it's super easy and quick. Mm -hmm. 
So there we go, that's like the base pretty much done. Um, it's looking quite good I think. Um, not too heavy coverage, you can still see like little freckles and stuff but it's looking quite perfected. Which oh, got really bright there. It's snowing outside which is ridiculous. Um, and it just stopped there so it got really bright. Anyway, that is not related to what I'm trying to do right now. Next, I'm going to apply some cheek products. So I'm going to start off with a blusher and I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm. Um, it's just a nice peachy pink shade um, with a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, so I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush. Um, just swirl it around a little bit, tap off the excess and then I'm just going to apply this to sort of top part of my cheeks rather than the apples. Um, so just around here. And I want to get enough to have a, like, a little flush of colour but I'm not going to apply too much because I don't want my blush to be sort of over the top. I just want a nice natural looking flush. And then I'm going to add a little bit of contour, nothing too drastic, but just a little something to give my cheekbones a little bit of definition. So for that I'm going to use a Max Harmony blush, which is just a sort of muted brown shade. Um, I find it's better for me than using, say, a bronzer because that just ends up too orange on my pale skin. So this is great. And I'm just, again, using another Real Techniques brush. This is the contour brush. So just going to put it in the hollows of my cheeks here. There we go, so that's cheeks done. Um, now what I'm going to do is just, a, oh wait, no, cheeks are not done. I'm going to add another highlighter. Um, the first one I applied all over my face was just to sort of give like a little bit of a glow to the skin. This one is just to highlight the cheekbones, so I'm just going to use um, a powder brush from number 7 and the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which is just a nice golden shimmery shade. Um, not too shiny, not too glittery, so just a little bit along here. The blush I used is... It does have a little bit of a shimmer in it, so I'm not going to apply too much of this. Just a little bit to sort of highlight the cheeks. So once that's done, what I'm going to do is use a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nitro Setting Spray to shake that up and a couple of spritzes on the base just to make everything stay in place and to make sure it doesn't look powdery or cakey or anything. So that'll give a nice natural sort of finish. So just leave that for a couple of seconds to sort of soak in, I guess. And once it's ready, I'm going to move on to eyes. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is an ancient one, as you can probably tell, because it's in the old packaging. Um, it should probably be in the bin, to be honest, but well. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that all over the lids and just blend it in with my finger. It's just to help your eyeshadow stick so it doesn't go creasy or melt away or anything. And then all over the lid I'm going to use this number 7 shadow which is from the Stay Perfect range and it's the shade Wheat Sheaf. And it's just a really pale, champagne y, golden y colour. And um, what brush shall I use? I'm just going to use this e.l.f. one, which is it's a blending brush, but it'll do for just applying colour all over the lid. So. so there we go, that's our based on. Um, now I'm going to take a what's this? crease brush, also from e.l.f. and another number 7 Stay Perfect shadow. This is the shade Truffle, which is a dark 
metallic -y brown, not too dark though. Um, so just going to pop a little bit of that on my brush, tap the excess off, and just highlight this area here. So we don't want it to be too dark, but just to give a little sort of depth to the eyes. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to take back my blending brush that I used to apply the first shade and just blend it all out. Take that darker colour slightly underneath the eye. Don't want a lot. So I'm not like dipping my brush back in, I'm just going to use whatever is left over on here just to add a little bit of colour. Like so. Um, next what I'm going to do is mascara, so I'm going to use Benefits They're Real. Well actually yeah, I might use this little sample one because the big one's almost dried out. So use this one and first of all I'm going to curl my lashes. These are the Shu Yumura. I don't know if that's how you say it, but um, just basically a pair of eyelash curlers, any kind will do. Give them a little squeeze. There we go. And apply mascara. If you have particularly fair hair, um, you could use a brown mascara for this, which is great for um, just an everyday kind of look when you don't want it to be too sort of unnoticeable. Um, that's a really good idea. But my hair, because it's so dark, it looks a bit silly if I use a brown one, so I just stick to black. There we go, and just do the same on the other eye. Once you've applied your mascara and you're happy with that, um, you can apply a nude eyeliner to the waterline just to make your eyes look a little bit more bright and wide awake. So I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize. And this is the shade Nude. Yeah, it's called Nude. So just take this along the inner waterline right along to the end. This just sort of gets rid of redness and helps make your eyes look a bit bigger and brighter. Like so. Um, you can also apply a little bit of highlight to the inner corners just to make your eyes look even more wide awake. So for that I'm going to use um, L'Oreal's Colour Infallible Eyeshadow and this is the shade Hourglass Beige. And this has got a really weird consistency. It sort of looks like a powder shadow but it applies kind of like a gel. So I find the best way to apply this is just with your finger. So. It's really, really pigmented, so just dab it on, and same on the other side. It's done, and the face done, more or less. Um, so all that's really left to do is pop on some lip stuff. So um, I already put on like a little bit of lip balm. Um, the rose petal salve and then on top of that I'm just gonna apply one of the Revlon lip butters which I'm sure you're all familiar with 
this is the shade Macaroon, which is a nice kind of um, pinky red sort of shade. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. I don't want it to be too bright, so just can dot it on and rub it in a little bit with my fingers. And that's it, it's finished. So this is my sort of no makeup makeup look. Um, really simple and easy to do. It's pretty quick to do as well, um, sort of 15 minutes max. Um, enjoyed this like little tutorial. Um, hopefully I might do a few more that are slightly better put together, but this was my first attempt. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I will see you soon in my next video. Thanks for watching.